I think the best definition, the most comprehensive or accurate definition is that menopause is a neuroendocrine transition state where your body and your brain are transitioning from your reproductive life to your non-reproductive life. Your body and brain are transitioning from your reproductive life to your non-reproductive life. It's clear on all accounts. It takes everything into play. So you don't think it's just no periods, right? Or hot flashes. Mm -hmm. You understand brain is a part of that. And you're also implying that if something that is genetically programmed to happen happens, that is not a disease. It's life. Yes. However, it does change your body and your brain. Mm -hmm. And while that transition is somehow needed, and it's, or perhaps let's just say it's just part of you being a woman or being born with ovaries, it does have glitches. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a smooth process no. most of the time. And the idea that this is a neuroendocrine transition state, which can impact your brain and endocrine system, your brain and hormone system at the same time, leading to half flashes, leading to disrupt sleep, leading to low mood, leading to brain fog. That validates women's experience and also validates the need for medical care because we can't just keep suffering for something just because it's not a pathology. Yes. It doesn't mean that yeah. it is easy. It doesn't mean that it's inconsequential. It doesn't mean that there are no long-term consequences for some women, right. right? So we really need, I think, to, to do a little bit of a better job here.